Welcome to Five Things. Today we'll be presenting you with some exclusive facts about recently extinct animals you probably didn't know about. Stay tuned to the end of our video to learn all about these incredible animals and subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one. Without further ado, let's begin. West African Black Rhinoceros A subspecies of the black rhinoceros found all over the continent of Africa, the West African Black Rhinoceros was believed by many to be genetically different from other black rhinos. This belief was mainly due to a couple of distinct physical traits, such as the animal's distal limbs and square-based horns. Just like all black rhinos, the West African Black Rhino was a type of herbivore known as a browser which means it seeks its sustenance from slightly higher points, such as leaves and fruit on low-hanging trees. This particular subspecies of black rhino was originally pretty spread out. It popped up in places such as Southwest Chad, the Central African Republic, and Northeast Nigeria. As time passed, they could primarily be found in the country of Cameroon. At the beginning of the 20th century, the West African black rhino had one of the highest reported populations of all black rhinos at approximately 850,000. The rhino was also heavily hunted during this time, but saw a resurgence in its numbers in the 1930s due to preservation efforts. In China, during the 1950s, natural medicines and cures for diseases were believed to be derived from animal parts such as rhino horns. These beliefs were later found to be scientifically unsupported but that did not stop poachers from hunting the West African black rhino in masses for their precious horns. Of course, China was not the only country that had poachers collecting black rhino horns over the course of the animal's existence. Countries in the Middle East sought the horns to make intricate ceremonial knife handles known as janbia, which showed off wealth and status. Poaching of the West African black rhino continued until the year 2000, when the population dropped to a mere 10 individuals. The International Union for Conservation of Nature officially declared the West African black rhinoceros extinct in 2011, with there not having been a single sighting of the species in the wild since 2006. Tasmanian Tiger Having evolved approximately 2 million years ago into the form we're most familiar with, the Tasmanian tiger was at one point one of the largest carnivorous marsupials in the world. The name Tasmanian tiger, given due to the species' distinctly striped lower back, is only one of many names that this animal has been given over the years. Due to the dog-like features on its front half, it was also given the name Tasmanian wolf. Despite this, the tiger-like stripes still remained the dominant feature. The species mainly lived in wooded areas of not only Tasmania, but also mainland Australia. The woodland conditions, in combination with their unique markings, helped the Tasmanian tiger camouflage, making it easier to hunt prey and hide from predators. As mentioned before, this species was a carnivore with its supposed food consisting of kangaroos, wallabies, wombats, potoroos, and possums. Unfortunately, modern animal observation and conservation were in their infancy when the population of the Tasmanian tiger had already plummeted leading to much of what we know about the animal originating mainly from studies of the skeleton and environment. Although it's believed that the species had already been eradicated from mainland Australia, the Tasmanian tiger continued to exist in Tasmania until its full extinction in the 1930s. There are multiple factors that may have led to this animal's demise. Some of the causes of their elimination include viral diseases and environmental erosion. The largest contributing factors were believed to come from humans as Europeans settled in the region. During this time, Tasmanian tigers were treated as if they were the main contributor to the slaughter of local livestock and were heavily hunted for this reason. There were even bounties introduced by land developers as early as 1830, which most likely led to higher numbers of dead Tasmanian tigers than originally intended, much of which went unreported. The last known Tasmanian tiger, which was given the name Benjamin, lived in captivity in northwestern Tasmania. Benjamin died in September of 1936 due to the neglect of his captors. Dodo The dodo, which only existed on a small island called Mauritius in the Indian Ocean, was a flightless bird whose name went on to practically be synonymous with the concept of species extinction. 
Despite being used in popular works of art such as Alice in Wonderland and phrases such as go the way of the dodo becoming ubiquitous in many languages, not much is known about the dodo. The first time the dodo shows up in recorded history is in correspondence from Dutch sailors in 1598. Being that the bird's extinction came less than a century later in 1662, all modern scientists have been able to use to make conclusions about the dodo are the statements of people who have witnessed the bird and fossilized partial specimens. What we do know of the appearance of the dodo from old illustrations is that they had a plumage that was gray or brown with lighter colored primary feathers. Although many comparisons have been made to pigeons since they are a distant relative, the skull of the dodo is much larger with a hooked beak like the flamingo, another flightless bird. Although not entirely proven, there's the belief that the species dined mostly on nuts, seeds, and root vegetables. Some have also suggested that the dodo also engorged itself on the occasional crab or shellfish. Being that the island of Mauritius did not have many mammalian predators, it's believed that the dodo built its nests at ground level. Due to its mostly isolated existence in the Indian Ocean, when humans started arriving on Mauritius, the bird had no reason to fear them. Between this fearlessness and the fact that it could not fly, the dodo was easy pickings for sailors and poachers. Of course, humans were not the only ones causing the number of existing dodos to thin out. As they came to the island, humans brought other non-native animals with them, such as dogs, cats, monkeys, rats, and pigs. The addition of these new species created new competition for the limited food on the island for the dodo. While these are widely considered to be the main factors of the final extinction of the dodo, there is a persistent belief that population numbers were already fading due to increased weather phenomena such as flash flooding. Caribbean Monk Seal Also known as the West India Seal and Sea Wolf, the Caribbean Monk Seal was native to the island nation of St. Kitts and Nevis until its extinction. Like most types of seals, the Caribbean Monk Seal hung out in larger social groups ranging anywhere from 20 to 100 individuals on slips of land nearby large bodies of water. The first accounts of this species came from the second voyage of Christopher Columbus during his 1494 travels to Hispaniola, where upon landing on shore, the crew members immediately hunted the seals for food. The next recorded account was not until 1513, when Ponce de Leon arrived at the same islands. Unsurprisingly, the two main predators of the Caribbean monk seal are sharks and humans. Although the last reported sighting of the seal was back in 1952, it was not officially declared extinct until 2008 in a joint investigation by the National Marine Fisheries Service and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It's believed that there are two main factors that led to the extinction of this species, both of which were at the hands of humans. The first and more direct cause was due to the incessant poaching of the animals for the oil contained in their blubber throughout the 18th and 19th centuries. This was something that was extremely easy to accomplish due to the seal's laid-back and gentle nature combined with its lack of flight instinct. The second factor came in the form of the species being starved out. The lack of food they experienced was caused by overfishing of fish and mollusks which were their main sources of nourishment. Tragically, not much was done to conserve the numbers of the Caribbean monk seal before they were decimated. The only real effort that seemed to be put in place was placing the seal on the endangered list in 1967, something that unfortunately came too late for this species. Pinta Island Tortoise A more recent addition to the ever-growing list of extinct species, the Pinta Island Tortoise is believed to have officially gone extinct as of 2012. A species of the giant Galapagos tortoises, the Pinta Island variety made its home in Ecuador. This giant tortoise, like many species that it shares a kinship with, was an herbivore sustaining itself on grass, cacti, and low-hanging fruit. They had the ability to drink and store water in their bodies for later use and could survive up to six months without food. Hunting various giant tortoises all over the world, sailors and whalers brought the Pinta Island tortoise to near extinction up through the 17th century. Breakdowns of the tortoise's natural habitat due to the introduction of non-native animals also led to a sharp decline of their numbers in the 20th century. Due to these factors, it was believed for decades that the Pinta Island tortoise was fully extinct. That was until the discovery of the species' most famous member, Lonesome George, in 1971. Over the years, multiple attempts were made to mate George with other giant tortoises, but none were fruitful. 
After 40 years of ailed mating attempts, Lonesome George died in 2012, giving his species the official designation of extinct. So what are your thoughts on these five recently extinct animals? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more great videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.